Hey, don't mind the mess behind me. I'm at my desk. Um, I'm a messy person. Uh, so I just renewed my AZ-104 certification today, uh, just a, a couple minutes ago. And I just wanted to walk you through what it's like, what uh, the exam exam is like, what you have to learn and all that stuff and how I did. So basically, I passed with 42%, right? And you need 42% to um, pass. And so, yeah, the bar is, is lower because I'm assuming that for that exam, they're not really expecting you to have prepared for it. It's more for professionals or people who are dealing with Azure to say, hey, yeah, you, you know enough to still be certified. Uh, the exam, the AZ-104 exam, if you take the exam itself, it's 70% to get a passing grade. The difference between the AZ-104 uh, renewal and the AZ-104 uh, exam is that you have all the time in the world to take it. There's absolutely no timer. Um, so you could take two hours per question and that would not hurt you um, unless you get logged out. So you have as much time as you want. There's no software to install on your machine. There's no nothing specific that you have to set up. You just go in the web browser, you click renew your certification, and it will take you to a page about renewing your certification. What you can do is they give you here's modules for uh, Azure, uh, Microsoft Learn modules that you may want to review because these things are new or changed or are covered in the exam. And, you know, you can or you cannot. You, you don't have to go through the modules to take the exam. You can just go straight to the exam, which is what I did. And the reason I did that is I was curious what um, what grade would I get without studying based solely on my experience. And I can tell you, based solely on the experience, working day to day with Azure is not enough. Um, and there's a lot of topics that are being touched and a lot of topics that I personally don't deal with on a regular basis. Uh, things like web apps. I don't deal with web apps in depth. Um, I'm not a developer. And in my personal life, I don't have the money to have a Linux or Azure plan running 24 seven for my web app, right? So uh, I don't deal with those on a regular basis. So I didn't know that very much. I also do not need with, I also do not deal with a virtual machine scale set. So I didn't know that either. Uh, what I deal with a lot is storage. I deal quite a bit with roles and permissions. So this is the place where I did best. Uh, so the exam though, sorry, I'm all over the place. The exam though will be the same way as the AZ-104, meaning the question will be in the same format. And one thing I like, and if you follow my channel and you see on the YouTube channel, like uh, my quiz on a daily basis, they're very different. Uh, my questions that I ask are very different from the questions that are asked by Microsoft on certifications. So I will start making my questions a little bit closer to what the certifications are. And what the certifications are is really use cases. Here's a real life example. And uh, what is the answer to that real life uh, question? Uh, so it's more about the practical than the um, knowledge of the tool. Um, the, it's still about knowing the tool, but it gives you a, a reasonable, you know, here's my setup. I'm trying to do X. What is the best solution? Or here's my setup. I'm trying to do X. Um, which of these resources can I do this thing to? Um, you know, this type of question. And it's 20 questions. Um, it's not, it, it's, it's, it's challenging. And uh, using the, the, the way it's done, it, it can trick you a little bit. Uh, it, it's not very straightforward always what the answer is. I try to make my questions a little bit more straightforward, but their questions 
are not necessarily straightforward and they can try and trick you. So yeah, this is my quick unedited uh, reaction to doing the AZ-104 renewal. I hope that was helpful. If you have more questions, let me know. Maybe I'll do a more in-depth video about this. But yeah, this is my quick, I just finished uh, reaction. And yeah, I'll just upload that video completely unedited. So all right, see you in the next video. Bye.